Tonight in Arkansas, there's a mother tucking in her daughter and turning off the light. A business owner is burning the midnight oil. An at-home dinner date is plating up possibility. And it's all happening under one roof. How? The power of a conversation. Like the one John from Integrity Solutions had with First Horizon Bank about his vision for a sustainable mixed-use building. Now it's not just words, it's life. First Horizon Bank, let's find a way. Go to firsthorizon.com slash John. First Horizon Bank, member FDIC. This is Conversate With Us with Chris Donovan and Evelyn Rivas. Welcome, everyone, and to the conversation. Hello. Hi. How's everyone doing today? That's her radio voice. That's the, no, that's the voice Aiden likes when I do. I don't, oh, yeah, this does. is my radio voice. It's normal. This. The, this is my radio voice. No, Aiden, that's the voice I do for Aiden. My son loves when I do goofy voices when we read so and bedtime i say come on Aiden, you ready to read <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's always like mom don't and then he laughs and he goes do it again <laughs> that's right by the way that's my wife evelyn hey and i'm chris this is conversate with us yeah this is a show all about conversations while we eat and we are eating juan pollo and it is so simple but so yummy there's something they put in their chicken and i think it's called crack cocaine i'm not 100 for sure percent sure no in, in uh, She's not a professional, folks. <laughs> I don't cook. I Do they put that in meat? No? Not I generally? I think so. Oh. Yeah. Then what do they do? No, they do it because... with like brownies. They have other things oh, cooked in it, but not chicken. Oh, no? Not chicken, no. i just saying, it's damn it's good. Gross. And not that I know what crack cocaine tastes like. <laughs> I just mean it's addicting, and I know that drugs are addicting. <laughs> you want another shovel to get out of that hole? <laughs> I've never done drugs, I swear. That's the truth. <laughs> so Juan Pollo, yeah. It's so good. I just get the soft tacos and it's just awesome. Or the big That's Juan your burrito. That's your favorite. So I have discovered at this place, and by the way, they are not paying us to do this. Oh, no, not at all. We just love we them ne- Nobody pays us to talk about them. They now have a chicken bowl. Yes. That's so good. It's my burrito in a bowl. Yeah, basically. basically so I feel like one. it's a little less carbs, even though there's definitely rice in there. Bar um, beans, too. Lots of beans. <laughs> <laughs> well, beans are iron and, you know, good for you. Some in moderation. Um, yeah, yeah. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. I don't eat enough to toot. Okay. But I definitely eat enough to make my mouth happy. Uh, <laughs> no, it's super good. And I'm very happy. They, they do something though. It's a rotisserie chicken. So yeah. they've got all these rotisseries in their kitchen mm-hmm. in every one of their locations set up exactly the same They're way. Amazing. Really cool. Yep. They're spread out all over the place where we live here. You used to be on the cup. I used to be on the Juan Pollo cup. That was in 2003. And two, 2002, two, 2003. Because when I started at X1039, Bobby Sato was on the cup. So we got Juan Pollo lunch for free like three times a all week. All the time, yeah. right? So did we. So it was my face, my co-host now, who was the night guy then. Yep. So Odia, myself, and Mike Medina, and then all the DJs that were at my station at the time. Joe did. All- Bobby Sato from X1039. Yeah, they had like the K-Frog, K-Frog guys, guys there. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, if you're it not from cool. our area, you don't know those names, but all the local DJs were on the, were cup. On the cup. And it was pretty funny because we were like, dude, I've never been on a cup. We, we have a sleeve of them somewhere. Somewhere, right? Yeah, we do. Oh, I'm so glad. We'll have to find that and post a picture. Because my hair is bright red. Is and it? Oh, brighter man. than it is right now. And yeah, it's. I had this crazy... I was young. I was, what, 20. Two? You're still young. 23? You're still young. Thanks. That's why my hair's red again. <laughs> and, um, you, I mean, you married a, a trophy. Husband. I know. Well, that's... So I have to say young and vibrant and to make sure I... And most are round. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Stanley Cup. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Large. One poyo. All right, so that's how we're going to start the show. And we're going to get into this one thing that we do called Right Now, Right Now. Because we want to let you know what's happening right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. All right, so my right now, right now, I'm going to take the lead on this one, is I actually worked the last couple days. Well, this is a change of pace in our house. I'm just kidding. (laughs) I mean, not for myself. I actually went to Hollywood and actually got a gig like Aiden has been doing so much. I worked on Silicon Valley for the last couple days. That's really freaking awesome. And I can't say much more than that, but I can say uh, I don't even think we, did we even talk about the shows that Aiden's been on? Because we didn't think think we could. Aiden has been on 911. Yeah. uh, Blackish. Yes. 
American Horror Story. Yes. And Young Sheldon. Young Sheldon. Uh, single parents. One. Single parents is the other single one. Parents, yeah, yeah, that's all of them. Yeah, he has been working like a little little beast, that yeah. little kid. But yeah. we had to stop and slow down until we, because uh, he was missing a little bit of school. Yeah. So we need to harness his grades. Yeah, first. well, no, and he's doing well, but he we're is. we're going to probably switch things up, which will be another topic we've talked about. Yeah, we'll get we'll get back. We're going to be getting more come more to come on that topic. Yes, of schools and uh, new changes it's for this family. Stuff. Yeah, lots of stuff. But yeah, so you got to be like an actor again. So how did yes. that feel? It was fun. Um, I was part of the office crew at the company uh, that's on the show. I, mm-hmm. I don't even know if it's a new or old company, so I'm not even going to say what yeah, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it was neat. It was fun. Um, it was supposed to be like one of those modern offices. So yeah. they had like a, a looked like a side of a mountain going up a, up a wall. It uh-huh. was like big giant bleachers for people to go hang out and work on and stuff. Yeah. So it was really, really cool because I got to sit up there for like, a lot of the shoot so yeah. we'll just watch how everything went yeah. and they kept moving but other than that it was just fun is you know met cool people I I got actually got a lot of work done just in holding yeah yeah because <laughs> so, you had to just kind of sit there yep. and like you can work while you're working yeah and then they feed your you laptop. ridiculously well <laughs> Yeah, man. I, you and Aiden keep bragging uh, about craft services. You need to go. You need to take Aiden or Cassie one time and then or register and go. Okay, but here's what this, the background on that is. Every time you guys come back from a, a shoot, yeah, and you, we won't put anyone specifically on blast, but you always have a funny story about people at craft services. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. I, had, I have a story from yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so craft services. Uh, when I take Aiden. And if you don't know what craft services are. Oh, yeah. It's just that's the buffet. the catering. Yeah, the yeah. catering. It's the like catering, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They serve they're... and they feed you every day. Yeah, don't you wish your job did that? Yeah, Shoot. I mean, like, not even like, okay, here's a granola bar, like full on, like omelet bar, like breakfast burrito, there's a breakfast chef sandwich. Serving. There's three chef stations. Oh my gosh! At this one. And then they had like they had sh- uh, salmon kebabs. What? For lunch, they had a uh, prime rib. They were oh cutting. Oh my god! It was, and that was it was ridiculous. So the food's really really good at all of these places. Yeah, they feed the kids. One. They feed you guys. It's just nuts. It's nice. I didn't even eat lunch yesterday because I wanted to leave. Yeah, but, but you uh, ate a big breakfast because had, they yeah, fed you. <laughs> I had I had an egg white scramble. Yeah, and I didn't even get potatoes or anything else because the the plate was already totally full. See that's so. See now I'm wondering about homelessness and what we could be doing in oh, LA County. Law. It's already law. I think they uh, can't but, throw out their food. They have to give it to the homeless. Do now. they? I think so. That makes me so happy because you, every time you're talking about this and how much food they had, I'm like, you know, I really hope they're. Oh, yeah. Utilizing it. Back to the story at yes, hand. Yes, please. Uh, the parents would go with the kids, and the parents can be scandalous from time to time, so they would uh, grab plates and fill up a second or a third plate and oh then gosh. put it in a bag. Uh-huh. Yesterday, like to go, like, to, to like go, doggy, them, yeah. doggy like, bags. Like they feed you super good breakfast, so they, they grab that and they put it in there and they eat it all day long, and then when lunch comes along, they grab a little bit to eat, and then they grab a big plate to take home. Wow. This guy had a Tupperware container yesterday. <laughs> he came prepared. I'm not kidding, like the size of a laptop, a bigger laptop Tupperware container that was probably about four inches deep oh my gosh and i'm like what the hell is this guy gonna do with that thing <laughs> i think you know. I know he went and got a salmon kebab or six yeah right he <laughs> so, said for the week <laughs> so people are pretty scandalous it's funny because they say that you know everybody in la and hollywood is starving but not if they're on movie sets you know you're right if, even if you're an extra you yeah. get you at least you're, you're, you're eating that day but you know it might be true i mean that's the reason they call it starving actors because, because nobody eats at night <laughs> well because if you're not on a set you probably are hungry and you're trying to wait for work so you know, I'm here today. I better take a lot of food. Yep. So I'm good for the next couple of days, which is actually quite sad. I know. But I mean, and then that's all you can think about, right? Is this? I'm like, I just need hope it, they then, need it. Yeah. yeah, like that. Okay, so what's your right now? Right now, <laughs> my right now. Oh God, I was going back and forth on this because a lot's been going on. Yes. We just came back from Vegas. We were at the iHeartRadio Music Festival. That was a ton of fun. And so now I'm getting back into the scheme of work. Yes. And this week was the first time that I started doing my new position at work some new responsibilities yeah so i'm still on the air that i just i'm wearing another hat or yeah. i'm doing a lot more involved with the music that we play she was very stressed out going into work this week thinking oh my god i gotta do this new new uh procedure and yeah, new, new yeah. process and it's gonna take forever and blah, blah blah and she did it she left she was happy she was smiling she's like i did it i'm not scared anymore yeah. And now she's good to go. Yeah. You know, change is, is scary, you it know, is. even though I still have the morning show and oh, I'm yeah, doing, I, I've always worn more than one hat mm-hmm. just from the start of, from the start of my career at that radio station, I was producer, yep. co-host, you promotions. know, promotions. I was behind the scenes doing 
coordinating. I've always been more than one thing. So this was going to add, I was nervous because it, it's a lot more, it's tedious yep. job that I'm doing. It's very, very involved and you can mess things up and then your station is screwed up. And yeah. I was really nervous about all of that, but um, they're, they're being really great with me. Like they're, they're easing me into it. So I'm, I'm not as overwhelmed any yep. longer. Good. Um, but I'm still involved with like all of our, I'm still our community director. I'm still yep. in charge of that. I'm still the one that handles our public file. And so, so I have all my duties still. And <laughs> now I have this. So she said duty. <laughs> I have lots of duties <laughs> <laughs> at work. <laughs> that's all I took from the whole conversation. I know. Well, that's that's <laughs> I why I married you. Well, I knew what you were going to say. You always <laughs> make things lighter. It's fine with me. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's why I'm, I'm so excited for you. That's a great thing. I think that it's, uh, something you've been looking forward to. I have, yeah. I have. So hopefully, uh, I told, I told work and I was like, look, I know you guys don't make a big deal about, about new titles and all that stuff, but I want a press release Hell yeah, and do. I want you guys to let this be known to the industry that I got a new title because that matters. It, does, it, it does. matters in our industry. It matters. That kind of stuff. I don't need like the big accolades inside the building, but please let the industry know that I am now more multifaceted yeah, than right. I was yesterday. If they you know kept I mean? sending in every time you added a job title to oh your God. duties, you would have had like seven press releases. <laughs> I would be a VP at iHeartRadio. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You would just have a lot of press releases. I would just, uh, yeah. And people would be like, this chick. <laughs> No, and but this is none of them. I felt in my heart garnered it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this. This was. This is a little bit different. So I'm all about it. I told my boss, I was like, please do that. I'd like a press release. As as I will <laughs> share the hell out of it. I know you will. Well, you might be the one writing it. So I know, uh, right? well, I already knowing have, the way I already have a template. Knowing the way things go. Well, that's great, babe. I'm yeah. happy for you. It's cool. It's exciting. There's a lot going on, man, right now. Beside that, then our daughter is, uh, I know we're, I'm going long on this. No, it's fine. Our daughter just announced her student of the year campaign. Yes. Which we will get her on here very soon to talk about. Yes. We want to, we, we want to have our first team meeting, I think. Before. On October 11th. Yeah. So we'll do, I mean, um, before we have her on the show to talk yeah, about it. Because so we have then we have details. like some fun stuff to talk about, but yeah. man, I'm telling you right now, if you're a fan or you listen at all and you're friends of ours, we, we're going to want you so involved in this. It's going to be so much fun. Plus it's going to be for an incredible cause. And I'm really excited because Julian is in charge of it and we're going to kind of watch her go through this first leadership, you know, thing as a 16 year old. It's going to be really awesome. Yeah. It's going to be very fun. Lead by example, they say, right? So hopefully she is taking uh, we'll our example and leading. Just she just wants to be our director. Booty. So she really does. Well, and when you, they don't even know what that means. So, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about that later. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, Aiden's in school. Cassie's doing dance. She's in three groups. Uh, Juju's doing that. And a junior in high school and driving the car into things. <laughs> Stop. That's another topic as well. <laughs> and that's the right now, right now. Yeah. There's so much going on right now, right now with this crazy family of ours. Yes. So let's talk about weight loss. Now this is what you want to do yes. for today's show. How much time do we have? We got to pick up the kids in 20 minutes. We okay. got 10 minutes. All right, let's go. We'll do real quick. Okay, right. so over the past few months, it's been a little difficult for me and with everything that's been going on with me physically and you with your back and your neck and your epidurals everything. and your procedures. My surgery your last surgery. year. So yeah. it's been a rough couple of years. We it have has. lots of medals on the wall from doing half marathons. Now I'm not saying we're going to do half marathon. But I want to. No, so that's I'm okay for that to be a long-term goal again. A year, within a year. With Oh, within six months. So I wanted to put a three-month challenge in. Oh, okay. Three-month challenge. Okay. What's Christmas. It? By Christmas what? By Christmas, we will have lost some weight. Okay. We will start exercising mm-hmm. and whoever has, more <laughs> correct well yeah yes. i mean i mean i'm just trying to do yeah. we're trying no, to do a lot of work right. on the house to exercise you're right which i was sore as hell after we did all that work two weeks ago <laughs> i couldn't walk for a day and that's when you know you're way out of shape yeah. <laughs> and i cleaned the garage so the yeah. treadmill's there there's mm-hmm. a netflix tv capable right in front of it yeah so the goal is here's my challenge to you okay and what? how we I'm get there scared. how we get there can be on your own together or both well, we're better together, my love. Correct. So, but let's we're all, see. What we're are we also, doing? We're also divided three ways now. I know. I Four know. ways, actually, considering the two of us are one way. Yeah. And then the three is <laughs> going the other ways. So I want to say that I, I don't want to put a number on it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put whatever you lose, I will lose one and a half times the amount. Because so you're you, a guy? <laughs> yeah, I can't Is double that what it. you're saying? I can't double it. Like, if you lose 20 pounds, I can't do 40, probably. But I no. can do 30. Yeah, you probably can. If you can you do 10, lose, I'll do 15. I mean, it is so crazy. You lose so much more That's weight why I'm faster. I know. 
than I do ever. But yeah. I've only ever tried to lose weight once. Mm-hmm. And it came back very fast. It did. But it also... Did. I did the same thing. I, I lost like a crazy amount of weight. And mm-hmm. within a year, it was like almost all the way back. Yeah. So... It's so hard. This is going mm-hmm. to be a lifestyle change. This isn't going to be a diet. This no. is going to be us going, okay, well, stay away from... Maybe we won't have as many carbs. And okay, we'll kick some of the dairy to the curb. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what? Only this, eat white meat. Or only... only yeah, like which, we, which we which do we anyway. only do anyway. <laughs> We're pretty damn good. We are. We but are. we do fast food. And we, we do french do. fries. And we, we do a sh- ton of tater tots. Oh, my God. So we can have those in you moderation. You do a, sh- a, ton, a <laughs> ton of tater tots. I don't even care for tater tots. But, but I do love French fries. Yeah. So yeah. we're just going to make some okay. adjustments. All right. I'm down. And I want to lose <sighs> weight. And then in a year for your birthday, mm-hmm. your 33rd birthday probably or yes, whatever it's yeah, going to be next yeah, year. Yeah, down there somewhere. Which, by the way, happy birthday on Saturday. <laughs> thank, thank you. Um, Sunday. Okay. Ouch. 26, 27, 28. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Man, why did I think it was Saturday? Everybody's like, which day are you having it? Her, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, well, though. My birthday here. is Sunday. I thought it was on Saturday. Anyway. Oh, I, my goodness. I didn't, I didn't look at the dates. I know the date's 929. Yeah. But I didn't look Sunday. at the calendar. <laughs> okay, so this next. I'm going to cry. So, next year. So much tomorrow. No, yeah, next what? year, next mm-hmm. next late summer. Let's do the half. Okay. So like I a think year that's from a now. a long time from now, but yes. No, we have a lot going on though. We're going to find out that over the next couple of weeks when we try to start working out, it's going to be obstacles. Right. So of like, course. I mean, something as simple as dropping off I Cassie like down there and then running around downtown. Goal. I know, but that's such a long, you don't want to shorten that. I mean, I'm all for it. Like let's shorten it up. Let's do something in the spring. Okay. What are your You don't thoughts? think we can no, do it the no, half I, in the spring? I, I think we can. I just, I just think when we start exercising, it's going to be a little bit longer journey than we thought. No. Okay. All right. We spring. could do it. Early spring? Or spring June. My birthday. Your birthday. My birthday. By your birthday. Right. Let's, let's plan for a half marathon. So in December, when we come back and revisit this weight loss challenge. Okay. Where you lose whatever where and I, I lose one and a half. gained five pounds and you've lost 20. <laughs> <laughs> I've gained one and a half times five. <laughs> gained seven and a half pounds. But we'll revisit in December, okay. and then we will pick the half marathon we will go for. Because okay. by that time, we'll know. You, they're usually Deal. six months out, at least. Deal. Okay. So we need to come up with a plan, though, right? Like, we're going to, you and I are going to, like, sit and write some stuff down to kind of try to exclude? Or, I mean, I know it's yes, a lifestyle no, yeah, change, we're gonna, but... We're going to have to make those decisions on our own for food, because we don't eat a lot together, just mm-hmm. dinner usually. Mm-hmm. But... Yes, there will be things that we won't order anymore from gro- the grocery store. Okay. And there'll be things that we cut back a lot of, like alcohol. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, okay. Am I allowed to do crack? You can do whatever you want. I just wanted to I told you. use the crack on reference your again own, today. <laughs> on your own, together, or I'm both? just kidding. <laughs> but I really don't do drugs. <laughs> I think I'm going to be a better morning workout guy, and I think you're going to be a better afternoon See, workout guy. See, that's the bummer, too. That's what's hard and always been hard for I know. me. Is because of my hours, I it's and I love working out in the morning. I'd much rather go for a run in the morning. I know, and I can't because I'm already on the radio. Yeah, no. So um, we'll we'll adjust. Okay. All be, right, will be weekends that we'll get up and do long walks or I, runs. And I, if we can walk every day, I'm down. Yeah, I'm super. Down. I would go get the kids every day, but a lot of the times we're running late and stuff. So yeah, because everything's we're so yeah. busy. Like but this no. morning, I was yeah, just it's too. Much. No, no, I'm I'm so okay. I'm super super down with that. All right, so do you want to put a number on your goal? No. Okay, that's because good, I don't want to put a number okay, above that. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't just because All right. my body is so different now. Post surgery, post third baby, third baby, post. I just want to feel good. Put it that way. Uh, yeah, I want my number to basically be. I want to feel good. You know, I want to feel better about my body. I felt, All of that. I felt okay after I did the diet and lost thirty pounds. Yeah, I felt good. And the one thing that I really hate now is that it, it, it's an effort to tie my shoe. Yeah. And if I have to make an effort to tie my shoe, there's something wrong in that. This, but yeah. what's been on my mind lately, but mm-hmm. it, of course, lots been on my mind. But so I've been like, okay, so I'm going to try to get back to where I was. My yeah. goal, my goal is not going to be lose 30 pounds. My goal is just going to be like yours, get comfortable. Yeah. But I want to be comfortable in my skin. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to be the, the weight I was at 25 years old. I'm just not. Whoa. Whoa. Do you whoa. Remember- do you want me to be that way no, again? I don't need you anorexic. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty damn thin. I was very, very thin, and it was a lot of work to maintain being That's the that thin. Part. And since then, I've had two more kids. Yep. So and like seventeen surgeries and tons of work. Not those kind of, not the Stress. good surgeries, but like bad surgeries to my body because I've had so much prob- so many problems. Yeah. So I'm gonna give my keep my goal realistic and just be like, 
we'll when get I, there. I feel better, I look better in the mirror than, you know, no it, double chin. And here's, what, here's a couple things I thought of. <laughs> uh, I know the, ba- the battery's dying on the recorder, so oh, I have to be okay, faster. Okay. There's a couple things that I thought of that would help us, that okay. motivate us. Okay. One, I can't tie my shoe without making an effort. So that's mm-hmm. one. Like, I want to make sure that that's gone. Okay. Two, there's always a reason to drink. Let's oh, make, yeah. Let's make this a reason not uh, to drink. Okay. Because a lot of times we're like, okay, well, your birthday's this week and we're going to drink. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have drinks on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. But during the week, no, nah, not so much. No, no, of course. Yeah. And, I'm, that's easy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I feel like that's easy for us. And to then do. just drive throughs. We, oh, we can get the so kids drive throughs. Yeah. But if we can't eat drive throughs, yeah. we come back here and we eat something else. Then and we, I did really then, well when I did that last then year. Then we ago. need to make sure that we have meals ready. Correct. That's the key because when I get home and I am so exhausted and I'm like, I got to figure out what I'm making for dinner and it's hard. I'm like, can I just order something? That's the problem. So when we're so busy, cause we go, go, go. Our family is crazy. Yep. So now let's limit it to drive throughs. Okay. So I would say that something like farmers or pokey, Healthier, a okay. healthier for our farm. Something fresh. that's like a but farm a, but, to table, but a, okay. A, but not like McDonald's or Burger King, okay. Okay, so no, my, no oh man, but yeah, but the kids, easy. I know it's not. We barely eat it's, there. And, and when I when we eat there, I'm like when we go to Del Taco, I'm like I'll just take two tacos. I'm good. Yeah, I don't need a meal. I don't need fries. Any of that stuff. Usually, I get a meal, and everybody else takes part of the meals. So I just get. The tacos. I take the big giant fry, All right? And then we share the iced tea, and I have the tacos. Yeah. That's okay, it. all right. I mean, I think Baby I can do steps, that. Baby steps, though. I don't want to like jump into this head first and then in two two days us be overwhelmed with trying well, to like make things. And work. I think that's the key to any diet is to start little like that yes. because then you can really make real lifestyle changes where you're not drastically doing something, mm-hmm. drastically losing weight. Nope. Yeah, we can handle this. Mm-hmm. We got we it. We got this. All right. Well, I, it's a short show this week, guys. But we had a lot going on with Evelyn's stuff, and I was lost in Hollywood for two days. And, yeah, um, lucky you. It was fun. Fun. I, fun. I really did. It's been a, it's been a long time since I got to do it by myself. I know. It's been like ten plus years. It's cool. Well, I'm glad yeah. that this is the opportunity. You know what I mean? To kind hope- of get back into it yeah and i hope you get to see me on tv and look out for funner family yeah and aiden too we'll be posting stuff whenever we know aiden's episodes are coming yes, up too because as soon as we know yeah and if we see it maybe we'll dvr it or record it or do something we'll, i don't know what we can do we, we'll steal it off <laughs> we'll find something and we'll post it so we'll you steal guys it off can... youtube and throw it up on our website exactly so thank you guys for listening go to this to find out everything about us yeah you can go to uh listen to 99.1 kgi if you're in the Southern California find area. Find me on oh, iHeartRadio. Heart. Just look up Evelyn yeah. E. Rivas. You'll find me. If you're on iHeart right now listening to this podcast, it's up there. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Thank you guys for listening. We'll catch you later. That's my line. I know. Conversate with us. Conversate with us. Thank you for listening to Conversate with us. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.